Repeat after me. I, Nathaniel, I, Nathaniel take you, Margaret, my wife, to have and to hold from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poor, in sickness, in health, to love and to cherish till death do part us. This is my solemn vow according to God's holy law. Margaret, repeat after me. I, Margaret, take you, Nathaniel. Y'all can hold hands. <laughs> to have and to hold from this day forward. For better, for worse, for richer, for poor. In sickness, in health. To love and to cherish from this day forward. According to God's holy law, this is my solemn vow. Are there rings? Oh. <laughs> Take the ring and put it on her finger and hold it there. Put it there and hold it on her finger. Say to her, with this ring, with this ring. Because I love you still, Margaret. <laughs> because I loved you for all of these years. Put the ring on his finger. Slide it. Put this ring on. With this ring, with this ring, I be wed. I be wed. Nathaniel, I love you always. Nathaniel, I love you always. <laughs> now you may kiss your bride, your wife. <laughs> you two haven't kissed yet, have you? There are two things in our custom that we do to mend or consecrate this marriage. Jumping the broom is a symbol of sweeping away the old and welcoming in the new, or a symbol of new beginnings. The broom ceremony represents the joining of the two families, these two and the reunion. It shows respect and pays homage to those whom come before us as you have shown toward your parents, allowing your mother to renew the vows of your parents. This is homage and due respect and I commend you for honoring your parents, your mother. <laughs> your mothers and your father. The other is consummating by kiss, the seal. It indeed gives me great pr privilege to have this opportunity to ask you, Mar Marcus, to now consummate or you may salute or you may kiss your bride. <laughs> now, according to the custom of our African for parents, let us sweep away the old and present the new. You may jump 
the broom. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me, or I should say gives us, Sister Gloria Smith, Pastor Freddie Patterson, and myself, Lyle Morton, the esteemed privilege and honor to present to you for the first time anywhere, brother and sister Marcus and Angel Tanksley. Let us stand. Marcus Anthony came into our life and so we're just so ecstatic and excited that Angel got her Marcus Anthony and even more so I'm glad that Marcus got him an angel because she's truly been an angel to us and I know without a shadow of a doubt that they are meant to be be with each other everything that happened happened for a reason and if you knew the story of their love and how it started and how it began you would just be like are you serious so I, I'm just excited that we're here this day um, to celebrate Marcus and Angel. And I just ask you to raise your glass and we'll give a toast to Angel and Marcus. Yay. This is my younger brother. I love him dearly. And I've always kind of watched over him, being his older brother. Didn't want nothing to happen to him and try to keep him safe. But he was scared to go to the bathroom when it was <laughs> <laughs> waking somebody up. And, uh, now the angel's coming to his life. <laughs> she can wake up with him. <laughs> Y'all on the other side of the country. We're over in California. And I feel safe for him because he's with you. I love you both. Aww. Thank you. 